Why, hello, everyone. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we spent most of this week gearing up for the live fire demonstration. It's like a fire drill, but with actual flame. Now, they had a whole uh, prescribed burn set up. There were supposed to be 35 total acres burned. Um, I'm not sure if that's how many burned, but there were still quite a few. A few of us were really nervous. I know I was really nervous. But once we got started and I realized that all we were going to be doing is digging a hand line, which is what we've done the entire time, um, it was actually pretty easy, pretty smooth, because we've practiced this and we've known what it is that we're supposed to be doing. So basically we started cutting line up this hill and it was different in that there was actual fire. Yeah, Ethan and I were counting all the washout situation to the fire. Multiple spot fires. There was just, so we were digging and there would be fire right next to us. Sometimes um, the little bushes called bear clover would flare up. And then, so we just wait and make sure that the whole field wasn't going to catch and keep going. It was really tiring work though. We filled a 12 hour day. We learned a lot about communication. We learned that pine cones can make good fusees. Usually we have these things that look like road flares. They're called fusees, and we can use them to light patches that uh, didn't burn by themselves. But if we don't have those, pine cones come in really handy. Fire. Mm, fire. Another thing we got to use is called a drip torch. And those were exciting because it's literally a can of gasoline and when you tip it over and light it near a fire, it just starts a fire all along where you're walking. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire! We burned three acres with the drip torch. We saw actual flame. It was the best fire drill I have ever participated in. The next day, we were all going to kind of relax and take the day off. And then we remembered, it's National Trails Day. So we hiked out to Desolation Wilderness. And in the wilderness, you can't have any chainsaws or anything mechanized. So when we were clearing trail up there, we had to use a crosscut saw. So we were sawing these huge trees and we ended up uh, scooting most of them out of the way. Uh, just so that we wouldn't have to, you know, cross-cut the whole time. But it was really awesome. Everyone got to try cross-cut sawing. I myself have done some cross-cutting because I went to the Highland Games. But uh, this was very different. This was not a game. This was, this was work. We hiked 10 miles round trip. We were so tired, so exhausted, and it was 12 hours the first day, 12 hours the second day. But we are refreshed and ready to continue. Get out of my seat. And he hopes you have a wonderful week as well. And so, I will see you next week. Bye! I don't want to set the world on fire I just want to start a flame in your heart.